Jaffa cakes, more like crapper cakes. <laughs> And it was the postie. But gee whiz, postmans really know how to knock on a door. Like, you know they're outside. Like, I slept through my alarm, but sure as hell, that woke me up. They just do it so intense and loud. Honestly, I thought it was Hagrid at the door, just waiting to tell me that I got accepted into Hogwarts, and then I'm a wizard, Harry. So anyway, where I was going with this is, I got a parcel today, and it is from my beautiful friend Saffron Barker, who lives in the UK. So, you know, she's probably Harry Potter's neighbour, like... So just to give you a bit of context, Saffron and I met at VidCon this year and we soon decided that we wanted to do a swap box video in which I send her a box of Australian things, you know, Tim Tams, Kangaroo Poo, all that good stuff. And then she sends me a box of UK things and this right here is that box. I actually don't really know of that many English sweets or things that are English made. So I'm actually really excited to open this. Now as far as I know, I'm pretty sure England and Australia have a lot more in common than Australia and America or England and America. Even our accents sound, you know, alike. And on the front it says fragile. <laughs> Just like my feelings. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's like pass the parcel. She should have written fragile on every layer, so I just didn't forget in the space of two minutes. Alright, so now we have this. It's so pretty. <laughs> She's got a foundation stain on it. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Wow! So inside we have a postcard with a bunch of marching burnt matchsticks. Buckingham Palace, London. Oh. <laughs> Georgia, so excited to do the swap boxes. Hope you enjoyed this little bit of the UK. Love you and miss you. Saffron, love you and miss you too. Oh, a little London t-shirt. Oh, her box is so much better than mine. It's giving me a little English mug. The catch is you can only put tea in this. It's just like every time I drink out of it, I just get an English accent for about 10 seconds. Cup of tea, cup of tea, cup of tea anyone? Oh my God, thank you so much for this bubble wrap. It won't pop. Yeah, but that wouldn't have stopped my 10 year old ADD self. I would have sat there for 20 minutes trying to pop it. We have some quavers. <laughs> I don't know why I find oh, Walker's quavers. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny, but who calls chips quavers? I can't say it without saying it like that. Like, even in my head, when I read it, the little voice is like, Quavers. We don't have the brand Walkers in Australia, so this is gonna be interesting. I don't know why, but I can just so imagine a bunch of little English children just at school sitting in a circle like, Harrison, do you want a quaver? Harrison, I'll have you a deal. Quaver for a weather. Oh, they're good. They're really good. Sometimes I think cheese flavors of things are way too strong, like fake. It's just like not too much, but not too little. So I give these about an eight out of 10. They're very good. Ah, uh, what did I tell ya? Weathers. If you're from England, please comment down below if you actually eat these. Like I like them, but I just know in Australia, if you put these in a bowl full of lollies, they're gonna be the last one picked. But I digress. I do know they are a English sweet. I like them. They're just very hard. I don't want to offend anyone, but I give these about a 5 out of 10. We have a Galaxy Ripple. Mmm, okay, okay, I'm a bit suspicious. It kind of just looks like a flake. And it is a flake. Mmm, <laughs> okay. So what we have here is chocolate. Oh, uh, uh, what's that? Oh, yes, um, covered in more chocolate. The chocolate doesn't go everywhere, it's great. So it's a flake, but for OCD people. It really is just a flake covered in chocolate. <laughs> but I love it. Sometimes it's the simple things in life, children. A wagon wheel. Well, it's pretty small. I don't know how that's gonna stabilize a wagon. <laughs> Sorry, that was terrible. And I've tried these before, but I wasn't too fond of them. I don't really like jam in chocolate. Oh, but this one doesn't have jam in it. Oh, score! Okay, so I give the wagon wheel about a four. It wasn't that interesting. I don't like jam on things, so honestly, that bumped it up from a three. Next, we have some twinings. English breakfast. Golden and well-rounded. Oh, sounds like they're describing my rear end. So I'm guessing it's just tea bags, which we do actually have these exact ones in Australia. Oh, they don't have the little stringy thing. Oh, that does smell golden and well-rounded. So I guess you put it in the tea and then fish it out with a spoon like <laughs> I, I, I could be so wrong. Right now it's really hot in my room so I'm not exactly feeling like a cup of tea. Swizzles, drumstick, squashies. Did someone sit on them? Why, is they, why are they called squashies? <laughs> I don't know why, but I find it so strange how that has the price on the packaging. I've never seen anything in Australia with the price, like, printed on the actual packaging. I believe that's one pound, right? Am I right? I went to school. 
Original raspberry and milk flavor. They do squash. That raspberry flavor is spot on. They even have bubblegum flavor and sour cherry. What? I like these a lot. I'm gonna give them a nine. They're right up there with quavers. Okay, next we have, so she's put a little note on this one. It says, traditional to have on a Sunday with a roast dinner, but also tasty with jam or syrup as a dessert. Okay. Oh, she can do both. Aunt Bessie's Yorkshire pudding We're gonna have mix. to try to cook them later. They sound delicious. She's giving us a little Christmas bauble. Oh, and it has all English stuff on it. Oh my gosh. I love that. That's so cute. Thank you. I've never actually been to England, but once I put this on the tree, my whole family's gonna think I have. Next we have some Mega Monster Munch. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Try and say that ten times fast. Mega Monster Munch. Mega Ma <laughs> Didn't even say it right the first time. Mega Monster Munch. Mega Monster Munch. Mega Monster Munch. Mega Monster Munch. Found Mega Monster Munch. Huge chunks of pickled onion. Oh. I can't be the only one who thinks that looks like a sponge. Oh, they're good. I like this Walker's brand. Walker's are walking straight up the rank for me. Oh. Ah. You know when you smell a bag of like salt and vinegar chips and then the scent just goes up through your nasal cavity into your brain? That is what I just experienced, but oh, God, it was good. Tea cakes. Okay. I sent a box of these because one is never enough. I have no idea what tea cakes are. I've never had a tea cake. It feels squishy. Oh, wow. It's like marshmallow and chocolate and biscuit. Is this the pommy version of a s'more? Oh! I should really start an ASMR channel. I really like that. I'm gonna give it a seven. Sorry, I just spoke with food in my mouth. Mum's gonna be devastated. Oh! She's also given me her book. Saffron Barker, my perfectly filtered life versus real life. Filled with heartache, makeup, daily fails, and epic wins. Look how bomb she looks. I love that so much. We have some mama yeast extract. <laughs> this is like the UK version of Vegemite. But instead of vegetable extract, which is Vegemite, it's yeast extract, which is more like chromite, which we have in Australia. So I've got myself a slice of multigrain bread. And my dog is sussing out the mama. Vegemite is a lot chunkier than this. This is like syrupy. Why is it so stringy? <laughs> so I well know within myself I've put that on correctly. Because as we know, every video of an American trying Marmite or Vegemite, they friggin' lather it on like it's Nutella. But we all know the right way to do it. You know, it's supposed to look like your dog just did a number two outside but then came inside to wipe the rest on the carpet. Alright, so me and Mindy are about to try some Marmite. You gotta tell me. Give it a rating out of 10. You, s you inhaled that. Did you even taste it? Just give us a sec. We're gonna have a consecutive meeting about the score. What do you give it? So we've both come to the conclusion that that deserves a 7. You are just so cute. I really like that because I really like Vegemite and that tastes almost exactly the same. Alright, what's next? Oh, oh. We have some Jaffa cakes. Don't like these. I've tried these before. Ugh. <coughs> oh, no. No, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm not exaggerating. I, <coughs> I really have. It's so <laughs> unnecessary. Whoever decided that chocolate and orange goes good together is probably the same idiot who claps when a plane lands. Sorry, I give that a one. It is terrible. Jaffa cakes, more like crapper cakes. <laughs> I've had this before, way back in 2016, when I was cringy as fuck. But I'm gonna try them again, because honestly I forgot. Sorbet dip with a tasty strawberry lolly. Wait, did I say sorbet? I meant sherbet. <laughs> my brain saw the S and the B-E-T at the end, and my, my brain just read it as sorbet. Oh yeah, I like this. I give this a nine, I really like that. Next, we have a boost. I thought these were Australian, honestly. Maybe they're from the UK, but we have them in Australia. Oh yeah. Tastes like diabetes. Tastes like a boost. Oh, hello. Saffron. That's so cute. Thank you so much. Next we have some giant buttons, some Maltesers, and some munchies, which I'm guessing are all chocolate. I am <laughs> chocolated out right now. You know what? Your Cadbury and our Cadbury don't taste any different. I give these an eight because they taste exactly the same as the Australian dairy milk, which is so nice. And I'm not trying to be mean to America. I've tasted it and I've heard from other people it doesn't taste the same. So good on you, Australia and the UK. So munchies, I haven't tried this. Would it be like crispy? There's like two different sides in it. There's like a munchy side and a caramel side. They're nice, but not amazing. I'm gonna have to give them like a five. And Maltesers, well, oh honey, I already gave them a nine when I ate a whole packet yesterday. <laughs> and I think that's it. Thank you so much, Saffron Barker, for sending me this lovely slop, slop box. Almost had it. If you would like to watch Saffron's video of her opening my swap box that I sent her, the link will be first line in the description and make sure you check it out. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and hey, why not check out another one of my videos as it really does help out my channel. And I'll see you next Saturday. See you later, potato. the permission to be this cute. You are so cute.